In today's video, we're gonna see what an apple has to do with clamping your mountain bike in a work stand. So buckle up for this adventure. Whenever I'm working on my bike, I tend to use a work stand. They're really useful for getting your bike at a good height to work on and having the freedom to move it around and adjust it to best suit your needs. Since the dawn of time, people have debated whether it's okay to clamp your dropper post or not. The dropper being one of the more delicate mechanical elements on a bike. However, it's now universally accepted that this is fine to do. But surprisingly, in a recent maintenance video I made, I came under fire from quite a few people in the comments section because of the way I clamp my bike. And it turns out that people have some really strong opinions about where you should and shouldn't be clamping. So this got me thinking, how should we be clamping our bikes? So my personal preference would be to clamp it on the seat tube, but practically this doesn't tend to happen. For one thing, it's super awkward trying to hold your bike in the air with one hand while you try and tighten the bike stand clamp properly with the other. I also find that this gets in the way of the tyre, making it tough to actually work on your bike. So my preference is to clamp the top tube. It's simple, easy and cuts out a lot of the faff. And it means that you don't have to do the clamp up quite as tight as you might have to do on the seat post or dropper. You can even put a rag in the clamp to stop it from scratching your frame. So this is where I came under fire. People actually said I shouldn't be clamping my bike on the top tube because these tubes aren't designed to withstand compression and doing so could actually damage my bike. I mean, this sounds logical, and I'm well aware the tubes are thinner in the middle than they are on the ends, but I'm not 100% convinced. Now, chipping the paint on a bike, I can see how that could happen, especially if you've got any sort of grit or mud or anything under the clamp. But crushing a tube to the point where it weakens, I'm not too sure, but I'm willing to be proved wrong. Now, where the comments didn't make sense to me was the part about weakening a tube, which may be legit, However, if I can't clamp the top tube because it will weaken it, then surely I can't clamp here, or here, or even on the dropper post, because none of these tubes are designed to withstand compression forces. So if we can't clamp anywhere on the bike, where are we supposed to clamp? I understand that frames may not be designed with compression forces in mind, but clamping a bike in a stand is not like clamping a bike in a vice. My stand doesn't put a great deal of pressure on the tube, certainly not enough to crush or weaken the metal. It even has these little rubber bits on to prevent crushing or scratching the frame. To test this, I was going to try crushing my old bike frame in the stand, tightening it as much as I could, but I'm convinced that it would easily break the bike clamp before it would break my bike. So instead, I thought I'd scientifically test the crushing power of my bike stand using this. A slightly bruised apple. So let's see. Although the metal or carbon top tube of a bike and an apple may not be considered similar in their construction, it will give us a good indication of how destructive these things really are. So let's fully tighten this baby to the max. That's about as tight as it's gonna go. And now it's time to assess the damage. And I can tell you're really on the edge of your seats for this big reveal. So let's take a look. Well, there you have it. It turns out that my stand can't even squish an apple. So I think I'll probably be okay even clamping the top tube of my carbon bike in here. But I agree that you could definitely chip the paint if you're not careful. Although clamping the bike is gonna be okay, are there any better ways to do it? To find out, I asked these YouTubers. Hey Ollie, Christian here at Electric Mountain Biker. So I use a bar which attaches to the handlebar and the saddle when I'm putting mine in the bike. So attaches that end attaches that end and keeps the weight nice and central. Using it a lot at the moment. Hey guys, I'm Blob on a bike and I use my seat post when I use my repair stand. Hey, this is Jan with the 40 something rider and this is how I clamp my e-bike. So I'm from the YouTube channel MTV Sprout and I mount my bike on the dropper post. So I do this whenever I'm cleaning or doing work on it. This is how I use a bike stand. Check out my YouTube and my socials at Wide With Sean. Hey Ollie, it's Richard from Dicking About TV. God, I hate these guys who keep promoting their channels. Okay, so if I want to dick about on my bike, see what I did there? I use one of these. And I put it round there and I hook it round the top there and I lift it up clamp it down, and that's how I work on my bike. Easy as that. 
So it appears that people are hoisting their bikes up in many weird and wonderful ways. So, in the interest of not spreading misinformation or fake news, I asked the Isle of Wight Bike Park's brand new mechanic where he thinks we should be clamping. Hello, I'm Gaz from Adventure Trails. How I clamp a bike? Right, doesn't really matter. Just get it in the stand. Normally, when there's no cables on here, I'll clamp the top post there. If you're particularly worried about the frame, put a rag in between your clamps. But you can also take it out if you're not sure. You don't want to damage your frame. Get it on the seat post. Now, if you've got a dropper seat post, normally you get a little bit sticking out where the, the stanchion comes out of the dropper. Just clamp it on there. But I don't think it really matters. I think, to be honest, you're safe wherever you clamp it. So, it turns out that it really doesn't matter where you're clamping your mountain bike. I guess you just need a bit of common sense and to be careful not to over tighten it. Especially if you have a thinner carbon frame or some sort of ultra light time trial road bike thing. Of course, if you still don't want to clamp your bike in a bike stand, you could always go old school and revert to flipping it upside down. So a big thank you to all the YouTubers who helped me out with this video. I've put links to all their channels down in the video description. While you're there, why not let me know the weird and wonderful ways you clamp your bike? I look forward to reading them all in the comments. Hit the like button, remember to subscribe, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.